yield myself one minute. Recognize for one minute. I cannot believe what I just heard. The gentleman just indicated that somehow we're adding $72 billion to a bill that has nothing whatsoever to do with the welfare of soldiers. I would point out by far the largest item that we are adding to this bill, $51 billion over 10 years, is devoted to help those very same soldiers so that the people who fought, so that the people who fought when they come, come home get treated the same way that the GIs did at the end of World War II. That isn't on the backs of the soldiers. That's trying to enhance their lives. It's trying to enable reservists and guard members and regular forces who have had their lives disrupted, who have gone to Iraq two and three times. We're trying to say, okay, you can stay home for a while. Get yourself a college education. The GI Bill paid back this country seven bucks for every dollar it cost. I yield myself one additional minute. Recognize for an additional minute. The GI Bill paid back in benefits to the society seven dollars for every dollar that it costs. There are unfortunately some people in this house who know the cost of everything and the value of nothing. Fortunately, the people who support this Third Amendment today will not be among them.